I'm here today not to talk about a plant disease problem, but to talk about something else that we often have submitted to the plant disease and insect diagnostic lab in the spring. And so what we're talking about are slime molds. Often we get images sent in from county extension offices where people want to know what is this in my yard and sometimes we'll actually see slime molds climbing up plants or around the base of a tree. So generally where you find these slime molds is on any type of decaying plant material. So in the case of where I'm standing now, we have a slime mold that's growing on this mulch. Sometimes we might see it growing on turf grass where there's some dead material, dead leaves is where it gets its start. Um, or just any kind of compost, organic material, or even hay bales if you have plants growing in hay bales. Most of the slime molds that we have are these plasmodial slime molds and they look like these big blobby structures. We used to think these were fungi and they actually are not fungi. They've been reclassified in the kingdom Protista and they, slime molds normally grow as individuals and they, they're sort of amoeba-like. They just kind of squish along and they can move. When they are by themselves, they are generally feeding on just decaying plant material. They can eat bacteria or fungi or yeast. And in the spring, when we start to have moisture and then warm, hot days, moisture, warm, hot days, it's stressful. So when they go under stress, they send out a distress call to the other slime molds in the area. Hey, let's get together. And they form these aggregates and they actually fuse and sort of work as one organism. And what they are doing is that they're going to produce spores. So they get together and they fuse and they start to make these spore structures. And as the slime mold dries out, the spores are gonna blow off to other types of organic matter and start new of these blobby plasmodial structures. So what do we do about slime molds? They're not a disease, they're not a pathogen, and they're not hurting any plants, even if you see them growing on the surface, they're just, or climbing up, they're just trying to get height so their spores can grow, blow further distances and they can spread further. So what you can do about it if you don't like them is just scoop them up and throw them away. Generally, when we get into a dry weather period, they just dry up and they kind of fade away. If it's on your turf grass, sometimes the, the slime molds will climb up the blades of the grass and the grass might look a little bit yellow. It's not hurting the plant, it's just obscuring light so they get a little bit yellow. If you don't like that, you could mow it and bag up those clippings and throw them away. Um, you can also try to dislodge them with a strong spray of the hose, especially if we see it on turf or even on those straw hay bales. Uh, gardens, pick it around, off around the plants and try to dislodge it with a strong spray of the hose. So slime molds aren't a problem for your plants. They're just an oddity that we see in the spring with all the moisture. And so if you don't like them, just wait and they're going to go away on their own. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.